welcome to the channel what are relics and actually why do I need them relics are items you collect in the game that help in increasing your hero's overall power it actually boosts the statuses of your hero whether it's critical critical damage effective hit you know all the attributes that if you go to your hero and click on the information you can view his power HP attack armor speed those attributes so by collecting the relics you actually increase your hero's power now let's look at a living example of that as you can see we are trying to increase the relics level for the queen of desert the more it is increased and the maximum is level 60 the more attack fixed attack or fixed hp increases at the same time there's something called the relic enhancement master which is you have nine relics if you take them 10 levels increase you will upgrade the relic master by level by one level that will automatically increase the hp and attack by one percent now the enhancement relic master can go up to level six which will give hp and attack plus six so the direction of course is to upgrade the relics and collect them and take them to level 60 after you've achieved that all right you can take them to t1 t1 is the upgraded version of those relics if you look at the relics they give you additional fixed hp critical resistance pretty much the attributes that will help in increasing your hero's statuses and overall power at the same time all right the relics are based on the hero and only the hero himself you know the ones that have those uh, small portraits only that hero will be able to use this specific relic because they'll ta they are tailored for him the relics also have an effect of increasing if you go to the skills the core skill level you see that level 2 level 3 yeah the relics actually increase that by doing that it increases the skills and the attack and damage depending on what the hero is doing actually or his attributes that is also increased so pretty much it's a powering up technique that be that gives your hero's statuses increase boost at the same time allow your hero to use his skill more efficiently causing that hero to do more damage now if we're talking about uh, Tuku for instance she does pursuit pursuit will allow her to keep on slashing the enemy attacking and doing more damage pursuit level 4 100% has more probability of attacking more and of course with the increasing critical and increasing attack it can do more damage so the pursuit when it's actually at level 4 is higher the core skill level 4 so that's pretty much what relics do actually uh, to recap it will increase your hp and attack by percentage it will increase the statuses attributes of your hero as you can see here and it will allow that the skill or the ultimate skill both of the hero that he can do to actually become better and stronger at the same time it gives you a boost when you take all your relics to t1 which is pretty much one relic that's t0 consumes another relic for the same hero that's t0 it becomes t1 the last thing that you gain because they follow activation by a number of relics and upgrades when you have three relics you, up, you unlock the first one when you have the totality of nine relics at t0 you unlock the second one and when you take it to t1 it will actually help you player versus player in pvp matches which is pretty much the arena and any other area in the game where you're battling against the player directly this one it will really help you in player versus player because of the increase you gain the arena the space time all of that nice stuff if you're going up against players overall relics can be gotten or you can get them by going to the relic store that's one of the places you'll find the relics available for different heroes here where you need to use the prism shard to exchange for a copy other than this for heroes that are difficult to get relics for instance storm falcon you would go to relics relics cube and if you summon 100 times like this First, you might get lucky during your uh, summoning direction to the 100 and get a red relic. 
second at 100 okay you'll get one card of the customizable red relics customizable red relics will allow you to summon directly the relic for that hero see here at the, on, on the bottom the selection of hero so of course you can always add your heroes to the wish list just in case you want to get lucky or got lucky during uh, relic summoning this will allow that during relic summoning there is a percentage or a chance that the drop of red one will be actually for one of these zeros and at the same time you can use it to select later when you actually get the red card at 100 or not necessarily you can still select the hero that you want a red relic for by utilizing both scenarios you'll be able to actually get red relics just like what happened exactly now see that that's a red boy so that red boy is for Julia what affected that uh, that drop rate is actually having her here in the relics wish list now what you do after you gain a relic you would go to the hero relic find the slot that matches the relic because there is a number of different relics with different attributes select the relic click on equip as you can see here she only has the first core skill activated by three out of nine relics the desperate rush will be activated when we have nine relics looking like this once we've gotten the relics and started like that you can upgrade the relics as i said once you take all nine to level 10 you will unlock the first one the relics enhancement master level one and then take it to level 20 all nine level 30 all nine level 40 and so on until level 60 you can see the increase in attributes that's just coming from the relics and relics can make a huge difference in the overall power of your hero for instance if we were to remove all the relics of tuku first notice her overall power 20 million now if we go and remove all the relics unequip unequip all right now she's at 15 million so the relics are almost given 9 million her critical was close to 100 now it's at 79 so yes the relics do make a difference and you can see that difference as soon as you put back your relics one by one you'll be able to notice that there is a power overall power increase that's happening All right let's add three first this unlocked deadly pursuit now she's at 16 million you can see the attributes let's add the remaining part of the relics available for her and see the difference that happens once you start adding all of them okay we've added almost all of them you can see there is an addition in the attributes an addition in the overall power now let's add the remaining ones and one two three six million increase that takes us to 20 million takes the critical to 95 percent and critical damage to 99 so relics are important that you start gathering them adding them to heroes and you can see an example of nine relics this is nine relics okay another example if you wanted to see more further examples nine relics still need to be upgraded see that the level four for every enemy kills uh, killed deals two extra basic attack damage one last example we're going to be given for another hero that's in the process of being built let's see yeah see that just one relic remains for indira and then her lightning antenna has a 30 percent chance to actually be created even more but at level 100 has a 100% chance to inflict an arc mark on the first target it hits so that level 100 can really make a difference 
All right, guys, thank you so much. And thank you to who asked about relics and wanting to understand it. I'll see you in the next video.